Abide in me. Kayo'y manatili sa angin, sabi pa ni Bayang Wizu, Christo sa mga disciples niya. And that's our theme for today's devotional, sa God's Word for Today devotional. Welcome sa inyong lahat, mga kaibigan, mga kapatiran. At ang ating talata this morning ay sa John 15 verses 4 to 6. Kayo'y manatili sa akin at ako'y sa inyo. Gaya ng sana na hindi magbubunga buhat sa kanyang sarili, malibang nakakabit sa puno, gayon din naman kayo. Malibang kayo ay manatili sa akin. Ako ang puno ng ubas. Kayo ang mga sanga. Ang nanatili sa akin at ako'y sa kanya ay isang nagbubunga ng marami. Sapagat kung kayo'y hiwalay sa akin, ay wala kayong magagawa. Kung ang sinuman ay hindi mananatili sa akin, siya'y itatapong katulad ng sanga at matutuyo. At sila ay titipunin at ihahagi sa apoy at masusunong. As a branch, Tayo yon mga Kristiyano, mga believers in the Lord Jesus Christ. We must be sure that we are connected with certainty to the source of life, the vine. Because the vine and branch relationship is primarily talking about life. The vine is the source of life. And branch is nothing without the vine. Our relationship with Jesus is automatic after... Uh, we put our trust in Him as our Savior and Lord immediately. Tayo ay nakakonect sa Kanya. Life begins when we believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. When we are sincere in doing that. Because ang life natin is a gift from God. And the next question natin itanong sa sarili natin is that, nagpatuloy ba tayo sa Kanya? Are we abiding in Him? Are we remaining in Him? The concept of abiding in Christ includes the idea of someone who expresses saving faith and hold, holding fast to that belief. So kung ating usisahin itong salitang abiding, it means na manatili. It means that what happened in the past is continuing until now. Hebrews 4 verse 14 and 10 23 it says about it. The emphasis is on those who yield to Christ's power to empower their spiritual lives. You know, ang sanga has nothing else to do but to remain, to yield on that branch. He is a Christian who is yielded to Christ's power and control. Hindi niya makontrol ang somebody na hindi nagpakontrol. Hindi niya mabigyan ng kapangyarihan ang tao po na hindi nagpasakop sa kanya. Hindi nag sa kanya. And that is why we always hear this, that the Christian life is not difficult. It is impossible because Christian life is talk, talking about living the life of Christ in us. Na sinasabi ni Pablo sa Galatians 2.20, it's no longer I who lives, but Christ who lives in me. It's the vine that produces the life of the branch. It means that kung walang vine, walang buhay ang sanga. Kung hindi nakadugtong, hindi nakakonect yung sanga sa vine, impossible na may buhay. This means na ang sanga po ay he is on an on, on a posture to obey and persevere sa kanyang relationship sa Panginoon. You know, ang mga tao po na tunay sa Panginoon, it, they are marked by obedience. They are evidenced by their obedience to the Lord Jesus Christ. And ang patuloy, they persevere. So ang journey natin for those who are true branches to the vine, true Christians, there is this journey from barrenness to spiritual fruitfulness to much fruit. You know, ang Panginoon sabi pa dito, that branch that is bearing one fruit, he will prune it that it will bear more fruit. And then natutuwa ang Panginoon if we bear much fruit. 
So this journey must be a loving, obedient journey. Sa patuloy nating sinusunod ang Panginoon. The deeper is our connectivity to our spiritual life giver, the more effective and productive we will be. So the issue here is not about pumping out or generating something we, we cannot. It's just like a well. Kung walang tubig sa loob, wala kang titimbain na tubig. You cannot pump out a life from a dry well. There must be a source of life there. Just like the well, there must be a spring that, source, that is the source of water. Sa atin naman, we cannot really live up our Christian life without the connectivity and intimacy with our source of life, the vine, the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, we ask this question, do this refer about material wealth, this fruitfulness? Do this refer about material wealth, success, reputation, or comfort, or ease? Definitely not. What is referred here is the fruit of the Spirit described in Galatians 5, verse 22 and 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faith, um, self-control, and patience. Ganun po ang, ang bunga when we are in Christ. This will be displayed in and through your lives. Thus, this speaks of our attitudes and behaviors that are becoming more like Christ. It is a, it is a change from the inside out. Katulad sa isang sanga, hindi mo nakita yung life within the brands connected to the vine. Pero magugulat na tayo na namumuraklak yung sanga and then dumalabas yung mga bunga. It's like that, you know, when we are... When, when, the word, when, when the Spirit is working in our hearts, using the Word of God, there will be um, the fruitfulness of Christ-likeness na mangyayari sa buhay natin. We will become more like Christ and hindi ito magsasabi about material wealth, that our bank accounts and material wealth will, you know, become more and uh, natin dumarami. Now, God can bless us with material blessings, but this is not primarily what he's referring unto here. So, what does this mean to us today? Applying the word of God today. So, the challenge sa atin, ang persuasion, ang, ang sinasabi ng Panginoon sa atin, it is a command of God to us, abide in me. Because apart from me, you can do nothing. The more faithful we, as we abide in the Lord Jesus Christ, the more Christ will be seen in and through our lives. The more that we are intimate in our relationship with Him, the more we become obedient because we love Him, the more na makikita si Panginoos Christo sa buhay natin. I hope and I pray that your life, my life, will display the Christ likeness, the fruit that He should desire na magkikita sa buhay natin, even today. Panginoon, salamat for your word, even today. Salamat, Lord, for this reminder na manatili kami sa inyo. There is no other way, because apart from you, we are nothing, Lord. We cannot pump out this life without your presence, without the Spirit's enablement. So salamat sa umagang ito that you have reminded us to remain in you, Lord. Lord, we pray na hindi namin ito malimutan, but ito ay maging bahagi sa buhay namin that can encourage us to remain faithful, to obey you, not grudgingly, but joyfully, because we know that you are our God who, who is the source of our life and that uh, this life that you promised in John chapter 10 verse 10 is an abundant life and this we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen.